Right, we, me and Alex just put the trump flag on the planter. Guaranteed 54 bushels of acre. Yep, got a little American flag up there. Put the 111 day corn in it. Put the trunk flag on. Got her flying pretty. 114 day. Did I say 100? Yeah, 114 day is what's coming in here. Day. I just switched from 100 day, so now I'm going to put the 114 day in her. Put some talc in her. I love a bolt tank. Plan again. We had like a five minute shower this morning, but that wasn't nothing. So, probably sunny, and I'd say it's close to 75 here today. So, I'm gonna go plant 114 day corn, get this, and then I got 111 to finish up, and then 102 day. Everything we're gonna plant is Pioneer, so for Decal, we got 102 day for 47 acres. The news so, brought to you by Manticore Rolling again. Gatorade, get in your strong community. For encouragement to look for just one positive thing you each day. Maybe it's taking a walk, sharing a family meal, enjoying a good book, waiting for a neighbor, or sharing. Got that much left on this field. I did all that. So far, all the way over there in the woods is what I've been playing. I got my trunk flag on the back. Wind's not blowing very well though, you can't see it. Got the trunk flag flying. That's my boy. And if you're a liberal and watch my channel, don't, please. I see now where they're trying to blame, they're trying to say that the coronavirus is racist because it's killing more African Americans than white. I don't even understand that shit. I think the media just like creates shit just to talk. And then somehow they try to say that it's Trump's fault that it's doing that. Clearly I think it's China's fault. Be that or this is the biggest theft in America because I think with Trump, the economy made so much money, just like after 9-11, it was so rich. And then all of a sudden 9-11 happened and they started taking away more of our freedoms with Homeland Security and, and all this other nonsense. And money, and the money just like disappeared in. Who knows what happened? And now they got 6.2 trillion. Where's all that money going? They were talking about everybody gets $1,200 or something by April 6th. I haven't seen twelve hundred dollars of you. It's sorry the camera's bouncing because I'm a plant and it's in this holder. It don't stay real steady. But uh, I don't know. I think it's just all a big scam. So that's just my thoughts. Brother just got done doing this farm. I'm playing all this now. So.
wish you'd pull forward and then pick the disc up. You see the humps there with the boards, but he's a rookie. All right, I just moved to a new field. Uh, got the planter going pretty good. And then right here over to the wheat. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Plant it over to the wheat, and then on the other side of the wheat, got my brother. You see his dust ball. He's over there working up another 40 some acre field. I'll be hitting there next. By that time, I should be out of the 114 day. And uh, I'll switch over to 111. But it's doing pretty good. My trunk flag isn't blowing anymore. It must be held up somewhere. And then I can start playing this field. Just waiting. Spots we got a chisel plow where they've been putting some sludge in. The ground's just a little hard, so we hooked the chisel plow up to 9200. Put new teeth on her. 18 foot. We're going to put the drag back on her. We had them all. Got the computer all set up for uh, auto track for pulling her. We've never pulled her with this tractor before. We used to have 8640. We did most of the pulling with this, and uh, but we went ahead and we got rid of that a long time ago. Thank the Lord. So now we're pulling her with this. With this, I'm sure she'll know it too. 18 foot, and we run it as deep. I mean, as deep as this to the plow can handle it last year we busted or the other year we busted it my brother had to weld it up yesterday we just put it away broke the hell we hadn't used it in quite some time they pulled 8640 pulled her apart but we're gonna give her a go we're gonna run her deep some of that ground back there's a little hard clay but we're gonna we're gonna yank on her she's either gonna do it or she's gonna break again so uh 47 acres is what we got to do with her. And then we'll probably do the 180. We have 187 across town. And we're going to do that too. We just hadn't done it in a while. You just can't this, 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 this. And there's a five acre field I actually want to do it in. Got some little low spots in it. And we can get her, get her back together. So get that field back going pretty good. 
but that's what we're. I didn't take these sweeps off, so I don't know how hard they actually are to put on. And they don't seem like they're. I think you just run some bolts to them and hook the chain up. I think that's pretty. Pretty much all you got to do with her, and she'll be good to go. So it just makes it nice instead of having them humps that the chisel plow makes it, it'll drag it down. I think it just makes it a lot better, more convenient. So we'll do that. We'll get this done, and we'll send my brother. He's gonna do the chisel plow, and uh, I'll probably get some video of that. Him out there stretching her legs a little bit. So I wish we had a fold up. I wish we had a draw bar type 24 foot instead of three point hitch, but this is what we got. We don't ever do it, like I said. So most time we're subsoil and ripping and stuff, so I don't know. Anyway, you'll see. I'll send more to, I'll get a video going once he gets going. Check her out, see how she does. Yeah, my brother, we just got the drags on. My brother's getting ready to start welding. He found a cracking one, so he's gonna weld it up. We got her all ready to go. All right, we're rolling out. We're gonna go try her out. Set the depth and everything on her. She's 18 foot, so we'll see how she does. We ain't used her in years, but there's some fields that need to be done with her. It's really windy here today. We got gusts like 30, 40 miles an hour. And uh, we were supposed to get some rain yesterday, but it kind of split and went around us and went towards Pennsylvania and then it split towards Virginia. And we were right in the middle, didn't get none of it, which that's good. It, if we had got the rain they were calling for, it would have been a bad, I mean, we'd be flooded out today. So gives us a chance to keep working some ground up over here. Got my brother. He's in front of me. We're gonna to go to this little five acre field over here. It's got some kind of hard clay, so we dissed it a couple times, but it really needs to be broke up good because water, it's hard to just get water to drain in it and stuff. So we're gonna knock this little field right here out real quick and then go do a big field that they just put some sludge in. That really needs it. The ground's just hard. So we haven't done it in several years, so it's about time that we do it. So try and get it right. We caught up so far. We got all the got all the sandy ground planted that I wanted planted. Now we're gonna start breaking up some some of the regular good ground. It's a little hard, but that's the goal for today. Yes, 
this is perfect for her. She's right on that line, both sides. So I'm gonna take her with that. This little field has needed this for a while. She's right on that line. Look. That's what's nice about GPS. You hold that right there. You don't have to do much at all, except for just turn her at the end. It's a big stress reliever on you from trying to hold it all day. I know people say lazy, whatever, but I guarantee you we're more efficient with that GPS than some than people are without it. I don't care what you say. It pays for itself over the long run. We've done the figures on. I know I'm planting. With swap control and GPS, I mean, we've done the figures. It, it pays big time. And I know with tillage, you'll save several passes. You don't, you think you can hold that steering wheel straight and not overlap, but that's a lie. You waste more time overlap, more fuel, more wear and tear, more everything on the equipment than if you didn't have it. So, that's what makes it fun. It's a small price to pay up front. It may save you. Remember, if you like this video, subscribe. It's free. Give me a thumbs up. Kind of getting back into the swing of things again. More tractors working, planters, everything. So, and pretty soon we'll be cutting wheat. So, anyway, Trump 2020.